What's going on everybody, I hope you liked that intro, I was feeling a little wacky, a little creative. As you know, Elden Ring is about three days away, at least at the time of recording, and with Elden Ring being considered one of the biggest releases this year, it will be a lot of people's first Souls-like game. As you can tell from the title, this is a stat video, I will be talking about every single stat, I'll be going over what they do, how they work, everything. My first Souls game was Bloodborne and I actually quit the first time just because the stat menu was so confusing and I had no idea what I was looking at. Thank god one of my friends explained to me how everything worked in the stat menu because I would have never finished Bloodborne if, you know, I didn't know and that would have been extremely unfortunate as Bloodborne is definitely one of the best games I've ever played. So, you know, if I did that when I first started, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna also do that with Elden Ring. I couldn't have been the only only one right i'm not i'm not stupid right right anyways before we get into it you are about to witness a historical moment in scumnut history today's video is sponsored by fanatical my first sponsor ever fanatical is an awesome website where you can buy official licensed pc keys at great discounts if you want elden ring and you're a little low on the cash right now well i got some great news on fanatical elden ring is currently available at 16 percent off not only do you get a great discount your key will be delivered on the 25th which is the day of release. If you're interested, go ahead and check out my link in the description below to get your copy of Elden Ring, which also has a deluxe edition, and Fanatical will give you an extra 5% discount on your next purchase. And now with all that being said, let's go check out some Elden Ring stats. I'm gonna go ahead and go over everything that's on the screen because it probably just looks like a bunch of numbers to most people. On the left side you have your level at the top as well as how many runes you have and how many runes you need to level up. So currently I'm level 5, I need 740 runes to level up. When I increase a level, that goes up and it will keep going up all the way until your max. Below your level you have attribute points which is your stats. Vigor, Mind, Endurance, Strength, Dex, Intelligence, Faith, and Arcane. These are the things you can level up which will increase the other numbers on the screen, as you can see here. In the top middle you have your base stats. You can think of these as your universal stats, you know, health, FP, stamina, equip load. HP is obviously your health, your red bar. FP is your blue bar or mana. And stamina is the green bar, which is, you know, stamina just like in any other game equip load is essentially the weight system in this game it determines how much you can carry below your base stats you have your attack power i know a lot of people get confused with you know the r armament one r armament two so i'm gonna try to make this as simple as possible so when you go to your character's equipment you have six slots where you can put a weapon or a shield or a staff the top row is your right hand and the bottom row is your left on the left side as you can see my attack power for both armaments, left and right, are 23. When you equip a weapon, that goes up. Our armament one is your first equipment slot right here where I have the winged spear. If I take that out, it goes back down to 23, which is how much damage my fist should do. That is essentially all attack power is, is just these six slots right here. If you don't have anything in a slot, it will just count your fist damage. I'm going to show you a little example of what happens when you level up. As you can see, this wing spear uses strength and dex. It scales off a of dex more, by the way, since that's C. So when I level up dex, as you can see, my R armament 1, which is the spear, is doing more damage, and it will keep going up if I level strength up too, because it uses both. Hopefully you understand what all that armament 1, 2, 3, 4 stuff is now. As for defense power, you know, it's pretty obvious what it is. It's your resistances to physical damage, magic damage, fire damage, lightning, and holy. For physical damage, there's actually three different types. There's strike, slash, and pierce, which is different attack styles. Whenever you level up any stat, it will increase your defense power, some more than the other. One good example would be leveling up vigor, that increases your fire resistance a lot more than, you know, strength would. 
Last but not least, we have Body, which is on the far right. These are resistances to stats like Poison, Blight, Hemorrhage, Frost, etc. The higher the number is, the more resistant you are to that ailment. Immunity is your resistance to Poison and Blight. Robustness is Hemorrhage and Frostbite. Focus is Sleep and Madness. And last is Death. <laughs> Death is basically something an enemy could apply to you if the bar maxes out, you just die immediately. Now these will also increase when you level up, but not just from your levels, it will also be decided by what armor you're wearing. For example, my helmet here gives me 29 resistance to immunity, 22 to robustness, 39 to focus, and 24 to death. Armor will also increase your damage negation for physical, magic, fire, lightning, and holy damage. Before I get to talking about all these different stats here, I do want to say that this is in the network test, so any of these could change at any time. However, as far as I know, the only thing that changed is max equip load scaling. It's not with strength anymore, it's tied to endurance now. Channels who have played the final version of the game have not mentioned any other changes to stats other than equip load, so everything in this video should be accurate aside from equip load. So just to simplify things, I'm going to divide the stats into two groups. Vigor, Mind, and Endurance are in the first group, which you can just think of as the universal group. These are things you will be leveling up no matter what build you're doing unless you're doing something like extremely specific and wacky and the other group contains strength dex intelligence faith and arcane and this group affects damage as well as other things so first we're going to talk about the three universal stats so i'm pretty sure it's obvious but vigor levels up your health which is your red bar like any other stat this can go all the way to 99 and it caps out at 1400 at least in the network test vigor doesn't just increase your health though as you can see here it also affects your fire resistance and poison immunity. Now moving on to mind, leveling up mind increases your blue bar which is your FP or mana. Leveling up mind is important because it allows you to use weapon skills and spells, as well as a few items like the heavy meteorite fragment. Now the most amount of FP you can get is 450. At 60 mind, you'll have 350. As you can tell, leveling up these stats at lower levels increases it a lot more than later scaling starts slowing around 60 as you can see it's barely going up anymore so the most you'll want to go for any stat is 60 because investing any higher is just not worth it now the last stat in the universal group endurance leveling up endurance increases your stamina which is your last bar the green one leveling up endurance also obviously increases your physical defense power and robustness the max amount of stamina you can have is 170 and at 60 you get 162 no matter what build you're running you will level one of these stats up because you know it is the universal stat keep in mind in the final version of the game endurance will increase your oh max equip load i don't know God. if the scaling will be the same as it is with strength so i'm not gonna go ahead and talk about it but if you really want to see that i do have a video on that you could go check that out now moving on to strength strength is the big giga chad stat leveling up strength allows you to wield extremely heavy weapons like a giant hammer a giant sword or a giant axe anything big just like with any of these other damage stats leveling up strength will increase your damage output on strength weapons just like with any other stat the max you'll want to go is 60 so if you're going for a pure strength build you're going to want to go to 60 strength and if you're going for a quality build you're going to want to be around 40. next up is dex dex does a lot of different things its main purpose is to increase your damage output on dex weapons but in elden ring it can be useful for magic builds as well. Aside from the damage, another big thing Dex does is reduce your casting time on spells. This is one reason why Dex magic builds will be extremely strong, because not only can you use a Dex weapon to protect yourself, leveling up Dex will make you cast spells faster. Dex also makes you take less fall damage and makes it a lot harder to be knocked off your horse. Next up is Intelligence. Leveling up Intelligence will increase your damage output with sorcery spells. For a lot of spells, you are required to have a certain amount of intelligence to use it. Leveling up Intelligence also increases your magic resistance. Faith is the other magic stat. Leveling up Faith will increase the amount of damage you do with incantations as well as allow you to use certain incantations 
unlike intelligence it actually doesn't increase any of your resistances defense wise faith will only increase your defense power by the basic amount last we have arcane which is essentially luck from dark souls 3 a lot of people will consider arcane as the useless stat as its main purpose is increasing your discovery which is basically just like the RNG stat. The more arcane you have, the luckier you get with drops, that's about it. It does also affect your death resistance and certain sorceries and incantations. Now what this description doesn't mention is that there are certain weapons out there that scale with arcane, and in the full game if any of those weapons are good, there could be arcane builds. That is about everything you will need to know about stats and how leveling works in Elden Ring. If you want to know more about scaling, I have done scaling videos on each attribute aside from the universal ones. I also have videos that go way more in depth about how dex affects casting speed as well as fall damage. I'll leave links to those videos in the description below. But anyways, if you made it this far, thank you for watching, you're awesome. If you did enjoy, please drop a like, and if you're new, definitely subscribe. About 80% of the people who watch my videos are not subbed, so you know, if you enjoy my content, why not sub? It's free and it helps out the channel. I make lots of Elden Ring content, and the game's coming out in a few days, so there's gonna be a lot more. Don't miss out. Anyways, I'm out.